Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Mrs. Callahan. Today is Tuesday, May 28th, and it is an S3 day. The SAT word of the day is vocation, meaning career. The lunch for today is a fried egg burger and tater tots. Today on the show, we have a story on the GSU, so sit back and relax because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Miss Romaine. And I'm Ms. John. Let's get started with some announcements. There will be a mandatory meeting for all sophomores planning to take AP U.S. History next year, tomorrow, right after school in the GSU Lecture Hall. See Mr. Loja in room 321 with any questions. Next up, we have a story on a retiree that some of you might remember. Freshman reporters Dory Theos and Marin Giambacco catch us up. When NHS alumni George Steven Yusevich was principal at Nord High School, he says students would associate him with one thing. Uh, students loved those Corvettes that I had. I think that influenced my uh, ability to be a principal as much as my education did. Known to many as simply GSU, he spent 50 years as an educator in Norwood. If I had to do it all over again, I'd pick teaching, but I would, I would want Norwood. I love this community. Teacher Rebecca Newman was a student at NHS when Yusevich was in charge. He hired her to teach social studies in 2012. She says it was an amazing send-off when he retired after two and a half decades as principal. But everyone went into the gymnasium and kind of spelled out on the floor was GSU. And then they had him walk in. He was above on the walking track and everyone sang the school song to him. And it was definitely very emotional. <laughs> But now that he's been retired for a few years, Yusevic said he's got his lawn looking tidy and he's living the life trying new hobbies. I started to take up uh, cooking. Uh, my wife is uh, kind of prodding me into that and I cook, uh, cook different dinners. And with his new skills in the kitchen, he says he's been serving up some tasty meals for him and the missus. I go out and I do the shopping and I cook, uh, cook different dinners. Uh, love fish, love to cook fish dishes, and uh, some new creations too, looking through some, some different things I see in magazines and cookbooks. So, uh, and she's pretty happy with it too, I think. When he's not cooking up a new dish, Yusevich says he just loves being free to do whatever he wants to do, whenever he wants to do it. And I said to someone that if you get bored in retirement, it's your own fault because there's so much out there that you can do. My wife and I have done uh, some traveling. We've been to Florida, we've been to Bermuda. And while Yusevich seems to be enjoying retirement, there are some things he says he misses from working with the students and teachers at NHS. I loved interacting with them. Um, I miss the staff, and uh, I can honestly say that every day was a joy to come to Norwood High School. I think the greatest moments I had uh, during that time, I used to sit in the lobby greeting the kids in the morning on a stool that I had uh, made for me. And even though he's not the principal anymore, He's still considered part of the NHS family. I was so happy for the time that I got to have him as my principal. Norwood has been my life. Uh, born and brought up in this community. I was a student at the Callahan School, went to the junior high school, graduated from the high school. Yusevich says he currently has no plans to move, adding he wouldn't think of any other place to live. And if we're all lucky, we'll be seeing that black vet cruising around the town for many more years to come. Reporting from Messing Magazine, I'm Dory Theos. For more stories like that, make sure to check out the latest edition of Mustang Magazine. Now, here's Mr. Serenides with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Mr. Serenides here with your sports update. On Friday, boys tennis Baseball, softball, and girls lacrosse lost to Hopkinton. Boys lacrosse beat Milton 9-6, clinching a spot in the tournament. Over the weekend, track competed in the Division III meet with Paul Forrest, Liam Fogarty, Kenny Obor, Becko, and Aiden Mulligan winning the Division III state title in the 4x400. Today for sports, boys and girls face Ashland with the girls at home and the boys away, while baseball and softball Take on Walpole, baseball at home and softball away. That's all I have for today. For more Mustangs content, be sure to follow us on Twitter 
and Instagram at Ustang Sports and check out Ustangs.com. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Mr. Serenides. Well, that's all we have for today. Don't forget to check us out online at mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, Mustangs.